right, welcome to World Drum Club, everyone. I'm Kalani, your instructor. In this lesson, I'll be showing you the Cajon Tab, which is a new kind of durable frame drum. I'll also be showing you a few techniques that you can apply to this and other frame drums and hand drums. So welcome, World Drum Club is a Patreon-supported website, so consider visiting patreon.com slash Kalani and becoming a supporting member of World Drum Club. We really appreciate that. So what is the Cajon Tab? Well, it is a small Cajon-like instrument. For those of you who don't know what a Cajon is, you can look that up, but it's basically a wooden box that is also a drum. And this drum is made of really thick plywood. I think this is over half an inch. I'm gonna go with maybe five eighths or three, even three quarters around the frame. And then the back is pretty, pretty thin plywood, but not as thin as the tapa, which is the front and playing surface. Also, you can see that the sides, I think, are birch or some sort of hardwood. And then the tapa on this one looks to be like mahogany. And the company that makes these Luson drums, they make different versions. So you can have different types of wood. The wood they use for the tapa will uh, change, you know, change the tone depending on the density and everything. This is a fairly standard model. They do make other models, lots of different colors too. So if you're into color, you can go check those out. We get a low resonant tone. I'm using a twisting technique, kind of a flicking motion. So I'm striking the head near the center with my thumb. We don't want to hit the drum right in the center. It's more of a dead spot. So go with a, you know, a, a circle that's inside the head. So I'm using that technique. Then I'm also using really what would be similar to how I would play bongos on the high bongo drum. Basically index finger striking near the corner. Now, that being said, this drum is fairly versatile. You can play Lots of different tones you can find on the instrument. Also, just kind of a fun fact, it, there is this sound hole here, and if you if you play the low tone and you move your hand towards the hole, you can get a pitch bend effect. You can also get a little bit of an udu kind of thing happening, for those of you who are a fan of the Udu. Uh, it's very light, maybe a pound or two, a couple pounds. And uh, I don't know how many kilograms that is. I'm sorry, I live in America, in America. Uh, as you can see, they've got some drum, I'm sorry, some end pins. I've got drum head today. Uh, end pins like you would find on a guitar or ukulele, and then I've got this, you know, this little strap that it came with, so that's really fun. So you can strap that on, wear it like this. I haven't really adjusted it. I guess I could wear it higher and play it up here, uh, but this seems to be pretty good, kind of like bongos, where bongos would be. So this is built as a kind of frame drum, wooden frame drum, and I think it does sound a little bit like a frame drum, There are a lot of frame drums. The Dora comes to mind, which is a very high-pitched, tight, dry frame drum sound. Obviously, it doesn't have the resonance and ring of a headed of a regular traditional frame drum, but that's okay. I don't think that would prevent me from using this in a music therapy setting or a music education setting or recreational music making setting or just a casual family around the campfire kind of jam. I think there's some really great features, great qualities to this instrument. Most notably, it's small, it's lightweight, makes it portable. Uh, of course, the fact that you don't have a head that you have to tune makes it a really big plus, and it's not really gonna go out of tune. It's wood, it's fairly durable, it's not gonna wear out and start to fall apart like some of the non-tunable drums that we see out there in the market. 
It's also not that expensive in the two to three hundred dollars, maybe less. Um, go to the website and find out the prices. I just realized I have no idea what these sell for. I think it's, you know, in the twos. So as of this video. All right. Um, any other questions about this, you can leave them below, but make sure you contact me through patreon.com slash Kalani if you want more detailed and personalized responses. I really appreciate you guys being here on the channel. World Drum Club is driven by you, the watchers, the viewers, and the patrons. So if you're not a patron, please consider joining for, you know, about the cost of a fancy cup of coffee per month. You can set a monthly maximum, you know, four or five bucks a month. And that helps support this content and motivates me to do even more in-depth drumming research and bring you guys new instruments and cool techniques that you can use. I'm always interested to hear about what you guys are doing out there, so shoot me a note uh, through this website or through my email at kalanimusic.com. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to give us that thumbs up, subscribe, like, do all that, do all that social media stuff. I'm Kalani. Thanks for being here at World Drum Club. I'll see you guys in a future lesson.